Hello my darlings, welcome in to Cleo Ra. Uh, this is a message for the warriors, for the ones who've truly come in to work for the divine. Don't be fooled by my name, I'm not glamorous in the slightest. I work for God, I've been warrioring for God since I was a tiny child, totally alone, boohoo, but with the full support of the universe behind me. Okay, so my name means the glory of the creator. I'm here to represent the most high God. And uh, yeah, the divine realm have actually had enough of all the crap that goes on with humans in their lower animalistic states of being. So I'm here to teach people about their sovereignty and the pathway, the true spiritual pathway, which always requires you to be a warrior of some variety, okay? Hence, all the knights in the deck, the emperor. You have to be willing to fight in multiple different ways, not so much physically anymore, but alchemically, mentally, spiritually. Okay, so we, we can't get to our sovereignty if we're not willing to be a warrior. If we just want to blend in with the world that's been presented to us by the people around us, the people who try to control the dream, because life is but a dream, folks, and there's people out there who are trying to control your mind to control the dream they're trying to make you feel like you're not free like you've got to go along with the status quo absolute crap okay you are a being of god but people have been distracted for many 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 years so this is what i'm here for okay my darlings right ten of pentacles this is about us getting where we truly belong, okay? And it's about time. Spirit's saying it's about time. Yeah, look at this. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. I feel like this is a number seven year, so people are getting back to where they belong, okay? This is about having having faith in an in an energy, okay? Having faith in that which is unseen. That's what's gonna take us home. The eight of swords is being trapped in the lower human mind instead of letting your spirit take the reins in your vessel. A lot of people don't realize this. Your body could exist without your soul in it. And without your soul in it, it wouldn't be your body. It would just be a body walking around on the cosmic stage, prepared for someone from the etheric realm to choose it. It's sort of like being an actor coming to earth. You choose a vessel that could quite easily survive without you and you are your soul, you are not your vessel. So this is kind of like the soul versus the lower animal, the lower human self that could exist soullessly on this planet. It's almost like we are all, according to the draconian laws out there, we are all a bit schizophrenic, okay? If you wanna take their crappy labels their crappy 3D labels and place them onto humans, they'll have everyone believe in their schizophrenic because the lower personality of the human vessel, the flesh, is very different compared to the higher self who chose to be connected to the body. So you could say we've all got two personalities just to start off with anyway. I feel like you've got an opportunity here to get here, to get to this 10 of pentacles and this 10 of cups, but it requires you to hold this frequency to hold the frequency of faith and to not let yourself fall down into fear. Eight of Swords and the Wheel. So this could be you rolling out of this Eight of Swords mindset. Yeah, moving out of it very quickly. I feel like you need someone to spark something into you, to tell you that you are an immortal being. You need to feel etherealized again. The Eight of Swords happens when we when we get de-etherealized, when we get too identified with the physical, with the flesh, with the worries, with the burdens, okay? And this is why life on Earth is one of the biggest tests we can ever go through. Because what we're essentially trying to do on the spiritual pathway is become our higher self in human format. And everything around us is trying to stop us doing that. Everything around us is potentially a trigger for fear. And then the lower animal in us gets triggered. You know that famous old word, I've been triggered. Yeah, we all get bloody triggered, okay? But the pathway is to learn how to not get triggered, how to be a true alchemist and truly control your own mindset and allow spirit to truly, truly control the vessel rather than allowing the lower animal nature to control the thoughts and behaviors and actions. 
So I feel like there's a chance here for you to move out of this energy, but I'm going to clarify these because uh, it's almost like there's a battle, okay? It's almost like there's a battle because these are totally different energies to these energies here. Now, you can't get better than the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, okay? This is like a big mission for someone out there, a big mission to get home, a big mission to escape this. I feel like there's a lot of situations that you just want to get away from, you know, people who don't understand you, people who drag you down, because when you meet people at their level, you could be a sixth dimensional being, you could be a fifth dimensional being, glowing, radiant, fully connected with spirit. But the minute you talk to a human being who's a narcissist or a sociopath, you're going to drop down in frequency to the prison of their mind, because that's the way the spiritual warfare works. So I feel like you're trying to get out of some investments or Spirit saying, leave something you've planted behind. Maybe you're going to have to cut your losses here because anything is worth removing to get here, to get to the Ten of Pentacles and to get to the Ten of Cups. I was hearing that song, Brian Adams, Everything I Do, I Do It For You. And uh, yeah, what's the other song I was hearing? There's a lot of love songs popping through to me today. And it's almost like Spirit wants you to really believe in that ultimate love story. Yeah, we've got burdens here. And I feel like it's the people around you burdening you. Maybe you know you don't belong around these people. Maybe you know that. Okay. We've got the emperor coming out. Now, what people need to understand about the emperor is the emperor represents the experience of the mind and realizing no matter where you are in life, somehow you have conjured it up. So people often click off of my videos because they just want to be enabled. They want the lower animal part of their mind they want to hear what they want to hear, and that's it. They don't care about the truth. They don't care about reality. The emperor is all about planting seeds with the seven of pentacles behind it to really manifest the life you want, to really be experiencing consciously the life you want. And there are no shortcuts here. Show me more. You're going to have to disappoint a lot of people to maintain your sovereignty. Because you can't be a sovereign being and then be around people who are totally owned by the system they were born into, totally controlled by their lower animal natures. You know, you've only got to you've only got to put a news article out and everyone responds and they're all posting about it on Instagram and they're all creating more of that in their reality because they're dumb, because they're stupid, because they don't understand that they're doing the worst thing possible by not maintaining their equilibrium like the emperor does holding their powerful mind as a part of the fabric of reality. So I feel like you're leaving behind these, uh, what I call minions, okay? These people whose minds are so easily controlled and I feel like you've got to understand you're not one of them. You've got to understand that you are not supposed to blend in with these people. You are not supposed to be burdened by these people. You are gonna have to disappoint these people because they can't come up to where you are but spirit, the divine, needs their warriors to truly, truly see clearly, to truly feel their infinity and to not get sucked in to other people's reality. You know, all reality exists in the mind. That's all. It, it exists within our mind. The whole world exists within each of our minds. And we as individuals are entire worlds. And I feel like you've got to be enough for yourself at the moment because I feel like you've got a big mission here a big mission to get back to your soul tribe or your soul group and you're gonna have to disappoint the people around you who aren't on spiritual missions who don't understand what that even means and yes there are a lot of people in the 3d a lot of people in a 3d mindset who think they're spiritual okay but they're trapped in the asylum of the 3d low vibrational you're up here okay top of the pyramid and these people are stuck in the labyrinths you know, in the underground portions of the pyramid, if you want to put it symbolically like that. So I feel like you're you're leaving behind investments that people aren't going to like it because they want you to invest for them. They want you to be, you know, an ally of theirs. Meanwhile, what do you get? You've been relying on spirit your whole life. You've had no one your whole life. Yeah, this is almost like you running away from something that had to collapse anyway. The tower it's inevitable that the, t the tower has to collapse, okay? So I feel like you've been dealing with people who kind of burden you, all right? Maybe they just don't understand you and they're not supposed to understand you. It's these people over here who are gonna understand you, the 10 of cups people, the 10 of pentacles people. So it's almost like you running from a burning building here. That's what they're telling me, running from a burning building. 
You could be someone who wants to save a lot of people, who wants to bring them up to your level of consciousness, but they can't be at your level of consciousness because their choices keep looping them around the 3D. They keep operating from their lower animal nature. So spirit is going to keep giving them what they conjured up over and over and over again. Burdens, the wheel. Every time the wheel turns, which we live in a cyclic universe, every time the wheel turns and it's constantly turning, we are all brought evidence of what we previously alchemized into our reality. And the emperor represents the human being who is awakened, who is conscious, who understands their true nature in this realm, who understands that cause and effect creates their reality. They don't blame things on other people. They know they chose to be here or were chosen by the Most High God, by the Divine Ones to come back here. The Emperor is the experience of the mind. It's standing wherever you are in your current now moment and knowing that everything around you, everything you're feeling, thinking, doing, receiving, experiencing is something you previously conjured up. And no one can create their own reality properly until they admit that. And this is what the tarot is. Tarot is valuable. Tarot is a valuable tool. Tarot is not for nosing into what other people are experiencing. That's unethical. Tarot is for the divine ones, the conscious ones, the ones who aren't NPCs, the ones who aren't ruled by their lower animal nature, to truly create their own sovereign reality. And you don't get to be royalty without being a warrior okay you're moving away from something very quickly here i'm going to look into this eight of swords as a mediator for the divine anything that comes through is something i'm allowed to share but there are a lot of 3d people who dig into information that really is none of their business okay but of course there's that temptation you want views you want lights you know forgive them father they know not what they do Two of Wands. Yeah, there's a branching off here. There's a branching off of the pathways, completion. Not everyone can go where you're going. Not everyone can be what you are. And they're gonna feel abandoned. They're gonna feel like you've run off and left them. But your priority here is to be a warrior for God. Show me this Knight of Swords again. And then I'm gonna cheer up and pull some cards <laughs> for these two, okay? Yeah, five of wands. Um, again, with the fire, it's like you're escaping something that would have turned into hell on earth. Okay, people who are kind of stuck in the mud. When you know you're an infinite immortal being, you don't buy into people's codependence. You don't buy into their lower animal nature. Sorry, I live above a lunatic who just bangs all day because he knows I work for the divine. Devils everywhere. Devils everywhere. And I feel like that's what you're running from. Look at all these devils on this card. Low vibrational, low mindset people. Now people take their world with them wherever they go. And you can feel what's in someone's mind, in their own personal world, in their mind, by what radiates out around them in their magnetic field and i feel like that's what's happening i feel like people are trying to suck you down suck you down into the 3d where they live because their consciousness cannot raise its frequency up to sixth dimensional fifth dimensional or even fourth dimensional level you know the 4d is the level that jesus was on when he first came into this you know when he came in to do that lifetime jesus was fourth dimensional and he wanted a tricky lifetime he wanted to play a role on the stage of life that was going to upgrade him really quickly to fifth dimension so that gives you some sort of insight into how tricky it is to actually get to a fifth dimensional level. It's not easy and it's not for cowards and it's not for the weak and it's not for the codependent. It is only for the strong because to get to the next world, to get to the next world that's more beautiful, more high vibrational, to get to a world that's really gorgeous and really represents the human in their highest vibrational format, it takes a lot of doing, it takes a lot of purity, it takes a lot of turning away from groups of people who are narcissistic, putting your faith fully in the divine and the etheric realms. So it's not for the faint of heart, we are building worlds as we go. And some of us wanna to get to a really beautiful world and we understand timelines and we understand how energy really works, even on an instinctive level. 
So the devils cannot come with you here. They can't come with you. And they're gonna look disappointed on the surface, okay? But they've got as much free will as you've got to do their spiritual work properly, to not get pulled into faux spirituality, which tells you to just go with the flow and be nice to everyone. And that's cute and all that, but you gotta be a warrior or well, you cannot get through to the divine worlds that exist, okay? You've got to purify your body, your consciousness. Your spirit has to be distilled. There's a distillation process. There's a purification process. And that doesn't mean being purified away to nothing. It means purifying the warrior, strengthening the mind, becoming a true warrior, becoming someone who can stand alone if everyone available is a devil, okay? Because they're everywhere, guys. They are absolutely everywhere. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, show me. Hierophant, yeah, this could be a divine marriage, a divine union, okay? To me, it looks like you really are getting to that next place, and it all comes from the mind, right? So you purifying your mind, focusing your thoughts in a positive way, Focus, focus. This is no joke. We get one life in the current vessel we're in to perform as best we can. And make no mistake, the ancients are watching. The deities are watching. God is always watching. The whole universe is watching you live out this movie of your life. And they want maximum value for each vessel, for each being that's incarnated in a vessel. They don't care about the people who are never going to ascend, okay? The people who have access to beautiful books and, and beautiful concepts and who still choose to worship false idols who still choose to want to be popular and you know want to worship singers who get violated every day by disgusting creatures and that's the energy you're feeding on if you are one of these mainstream people you can't get to the next world getting distracted by devils who want to act like they're gods okay you have to understand the true energy of this place yeah six of cups ten of cups i feel like you've invested here we've got the seven of pentacles again so you've invested in being the highest version of yourself you've invested in getting to a world that's way more beautiful and we can only get that via the mind so i feel like you're having to uh not allow your energy to be tainted by people who are so indoctrinated they can never wake up they can never become conscious because they are so hypnotized by the lower world and that's the test for all of us are you worthy of getting to the divine realms are you worthy of being in a truly beautiful world or are you going to be distracted by the crappy disgusting 3d shit that's available because most people it's tragic to watch it's tragic to know that most spiritual beings they're stuck in the asylum of the 3d they think they've awakened from the matrix no they enable the matrix and they don't even realize it because, you know, this world is very, uh, it's very much a spiritual trial. It's realistic. It's bizarre. You have to be able to reground yourself and come back to your higher self over and over and over again. You have to be able to get over things that make you feel humiliated, that make the animal part of you feel humiliated or angry or upset. And you need to be able to reconnect with your divinity. I'm going to stop lecturing you now because these are really beautiful cards. I just want to let someone know you're doing really beautiful spiritual work. Okay, and it doesn't matter what people of the earth think of you. The angels and the divine ones are fully supporting you. And they're not soft, guys. Angels are not soft, okay? They're tougher than any demon, okay? Angels, it sounds so sweet and lovely. Yeah, the cherubim, they are lovely. But make no mistake, I'm a feral cherub, okay? I've come from the Venusian realms. I've been picked to be here. And you've got to be a warrior when you hit the 3D with a bang. And you've got people coming at you, even as a baby, you know? Even as a baby, they will try and finish you off. They will send their little agents in. Children come in working for the negative, for the devil, okay? There are negative polarity children everywhere. And they will push their siblings who are chosen out of windows. They will pull the baby car seat off of the side to try and instinctively kill you off. They are legion. The enemy are legion. 
okay? And they all feed off of the same stream of consciousness. So even regular people who feel like they're just doing what they've got to do to get through the day, they are enablers, just like the matrix showed us. They can turn into agents at any moment because they're not devoted to God. They're not devoted to the divine realms. They're not devoted to their higher self. They are clueless. Forgive them, Father. They know not what they do. But make no mistake, these regular humans, and unless you're dealing with real warriors who really are real ones, who really know what they represent and who would rather die than go against their beautiful, honourable souls. They can turn it on you at any minute, unless they are honourable, real ones. There's only a tiny percentage of real ones, okay, who are getting these divine connections. Ten of pentacles, ten of cups. Darling, you are set for life. I feel like you're on the last leg of your journey here. You've invested something, invested in something, and really dedicated yourself to that. I don't feel like I'm speaking to someone who will ever let your standards slip. You know what you expect from the humans around you. And you know most of them don't even halfway fit the bill. Most of them are cowards. Most of them are scared. You must feel these energies coming off of people's magnetic fields. It's like I'm talking to someone who knows how hypnotized people are. Someone who's maybe looked into hermetic principles. Who understands that the all is mind. Someone who understands that we create with the alchemical energies of emotion and passion. And it's all spelled out in the tarot. And yet most people who watch tarot, they haven't got a bloody clue. So spirit needs at least one person to truly understand the nature of reality and what the tarot was actually intended for. Okay, I feel like if you wanna be married, you're gonna be getting married. If you wanna be with a great soul tribe, you're gonna be with a great soul tribe. Whatever this means to you, this is soulmate connections. These are divine connections. And I feel like, yeah, being in your own energy and cutting off all the noise from people who are scared and people who are weak and people who are hypnotized and brainwashed, it's gonna give you far more strength to just stand alone at the moment because when you stand alone, you've got the whole of the divine energy around you supporting you. And I'm getting that you feel much more powerful alone. Wherever you are at currently, it's not gonna last. We've got the world card here. Things are branching off, the timelines are branching off. So you're branching into a much higher, a much higher world that your mind is matching the frequency of. You can't take people with you when they've got a low frequency mind. It's just impossible. We only get what we conjure up in this life. Anything else is impossible, okay? And people don't like to hear that. When I attract in a predator, when I'm dealing with someone psychopathic or sociopathic or narcissistic, someone who, who almost destroys me because my inner child trusted them and I let them into my heart, literally, into my yin realm, and they're taking shits in the corner of my internal world. This is all spell work, people. This is all energetic work and it's real. People don't like to hear that they attract in everything that they get happening to them. They don't like it, but it's feedback. Feedback from the universe, giving you your bearings, letting you know what world you're really in. Telling you, slap, get real, slap, you chose this life, slap, wake up. I'm speaking to someone who is woken up and look at these beautiful cards, okay? This is just about letting them go. They're going to be disappointed, these ones that cannot keep up with your frequency. But you've got people waiting for you here. A lot of people who've held their ground, who are honourable, respectful. They don't have fear because fear is a, ugh. Fear is like, it's gross. I don't even want to say what spirit's given me to explain it to you. When you feel fear, it taints the spirit, okay? It really dirties up the spirit. Fear makes people act heinously. Fear makes people act like scumbags. And they're all being watched, okay? They're all being watched and God's like, you know, all these people going on about spirituality and going on about God, why are they so fearful if they truly believe in me? If they truly believe in me, why are they still so con concerned with what people think of them? People, what people think of them. Why don't they understand the nature of the dream? Why don't they understand they're immortal? Why don't they understand that everything they earn through the lifetime they're in is going to go with them to the next world or it's going to it's going to be created etherically in their own personal yin realm the non-physical world that is connected through our brain okay the mind is the portal between the physical and the non-physical 
anyway. Yeah, someone's going to be heartbroken. Or they're going to act like they're heartbroken. Oh, spirits out today because they're weak, okay? Especially if you've been dealing with people that talk about God. Yeah, they're crazy. Look, nine of swords, five of cups. You're dealing with some crazy ones. And I feel like they're treacherous anyway. If you could see the state of their soul, you wouldn't feel guilty leaving them behind. Everyone wants a bit of the emperor's energy. Everyone wants the emperor to make them feel safe and secure and happy. Everyone wants a piece of the emperor, but no one can understand the emperor and the pressure he's had to withstand and go through to get to that positioning. Nothing comes for free. And there are some people here who are going to be stuck in karmic loops until their soul gets recycled. They are never going to ascend because they're too cowardly. And you're going home to these... Uh, these beautiful energies, soul tribe, these are souls that have been with you since the very beginning of your very first incarnation and you're magnetizing your way back to them. Okay, Spirit's saying there are people clawing at you, trying to keep you low vibrational. Yeah, victory. They don't want you having this victory because when a soul tribe or a divine connection, this could be a relationship or it could be soul tribe, but either way, it's people who are members of your soul group, people that you've incarnated with over and over again. They're trying to cause you confusion, these people. These regular mainstream people who are too scared to break out of their own mind, essentially, and be just the basics of what a human was always supposed to be. I think people don't understand. The full card is the awakened being. The human who really realises what it means, okay, to be a being, to be God's highest creation, and to have the full power of focus to create whatever you want. You can connect to the ethers and pull energy into your magnetic field whenever you want based on the frequency that you're on. And some of these people, they just can't get out of the programming. They've been clockwork orange and they're stuck. It's It reminds me of like, you know, on 28 days later when the virus just spreads through the crowd and they're all panicking like animals. I mean, you can't blame them in that situation, but you can blame them in regular life for being that scared and pathetic, right? So don't feel guilty. You're, you're heading for victory here. People are going to be confused. And the thing is, you've got many options of where to put your energy, where to place your focus. You don't really need people who are going to kind of drag your frequency down. Traitor energy anyway, manipulation. See, the problem is with narcissists is most of them don't realize they're narcissists. So when they act like you're doing something wrong, like, oh, why did you abandon me? I'm going to talk about you to everyone I know now. I'm going to use the social warfare. Go ahead, bitch. Use the social warfare. I work for God. I don't give a fuck about your social warfare. I couldn't care less about who you smear me to. You know how hard you got to be to not be bothered when they turn everyone against you? Yeah, let them. They are legion. They are roaches. They will never get to the divine realms like you are getting to the divine realms. So yeah, I feel like you're uh, dealing with someone, full card. Someone who doesn't want you getting home. Someone who doesn't want you getting all this. They're trying to hold you down, literally stop the flow of your energy. Could be a female narcissist here. Someone who tries to act motherly and kind and caring. Ooh, they're manipulative little rats. Most of them don't even realise they're narcs, guys, okay? Which makes them seem so much more innocent when they're going around telling everyone how mean you were to them. Pathetic, okay? God watches everything. This is your payback, okay, for being such a loyal, strong one, for being a real one for God, okay? You might not even... This is the thing. The word God's been ruined by people. People think it's all about religion and what other people think and humans channel shit through and the channelings might be all off key because we can only channel based on our personal level of consciousness so you have to find your own pathway to source you have to have faith in what feels right and what feels good to you and i'm speaking to someone that's done that you deserve this fresh start you deserve it for all the strength you've had for keeping your head above water for keeping your frequency pure for never getting pulled down into the asylum of the 3d world you don't fit in with regular people. You can feel their malevolent energy. You can feel it creeping over you. People who think they're being clever by learning how to be more manipulative. It's like prison. You know how people go to jail and they learn tactics and it changes them and it makes them act like, you know, 
little scumbags, but what am I supposed to do? I'm in jail. Well, that's how it is on planet Earth, even with the people who aren't in jail. They're like, well, what am I supposed to do? I've got to make a living. What am I supposed to do? And Spirit's like, put some fucking faith in God and let the universe reward you. Yeah, maybe you try that. Maybe try having a bit of honour. Maybe try having a bit of fucking devotion, a bit of love. Maybe try having a bit of fucking faith. And maybe you wouldn't be down there in the asylum of the mind at a low frequency, hellish level, feeling fucking sorry for yourself. Yeah. Okay. But you, my dear emperor or empress, you're doing okay, okay? I feel like I'm speaking to someone. This emperor card is such a stable person. I feel like you've been through it in your own way. You've really been through it. What have we got here? Six of Earth again, Six of Pentacles. So yeah, be very careful who you give your energy to. If there's any doubt in your mind, hold back, be calm. Yeah, Four of Swords here. You've got to give it a rest. Give it a rest from like sharing your energy with people that you might even pity them, you might feel sorry for them. But if they turn to the divine in a proper way, they would have a connection with their guides. Unless you're talking to a narcissist, of course. Ugh, they are legion. Yeah, they've got energies that support them. They're little scroty, little <laughs> shitty witches in the non-physical. They're shit, okay? So don't be lured into helping people who are on the enemy team. That's what I'm going to say here. Give it a rest, okay? If someone's confusing you, if someone's making you feel like, oh, this energy ain't right, get rid of them. The star card. You know, the star is always going to have people creeping up on them, trying to take their essence via magnetism. This is why narcissists, they will mirror you when they first meet you because they want to get on the same conscious level as you so they can start sucking energy from your magnetic field. Narcissists pull in energy, okay, like leeches. They suck energy invisibly from your magnetic field into theirs. They're not radiant like we are. They're not radiant like the team Godhead people. They're not radiant like the divine ones are. So they want to get into friendships with divine beings and leech on your fucking energy because they've got no connection to source all by themselves. You think their guides are going to give them any energy? See, the enemy team, they will eat each other up. They're not even teammates. They only serve themselves. So this is why they get so alone and feel so lonely. <sighs> See, the enemy team, they feel all lonely when they're alone. They need humans to feed them fuel. Otherwise, they are alone because their team are scumbags, even on a guidance level. Narcissists don't have spirit guides that give a fuck about them. They're on the wrong team. They're alone, completely alone. All they can do is siphon your energy. You need your energy for this new pathway here. This is your victory. It already exists. It's already a timeline that already exists. You're just lining up with it energetically. So be prepared for little scroty negative polarity beings to try and confuse you, to try and project on you, to try and like use your virtue against you. They're going to want your inner child to feel sorry for them and relate to them, but they're not like you. The more time you spend alone, the more connected to your guides you should become. So I don't understand all this problem people have with being alone, wanting their phones to be pinging 24-7. It's hell. It's, it's, ugh. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, I can't help being what I am. And, you know, I just, uh, I just don't get it. I don't get how humans just can't see how pathetic they are often. Yeah, this, uh, seven of swords, they're coming for you. Okay, because they always come for you when you're about to break through to your Ten of Pentacles or your Ten of Cups. And I feel like at this point, you're just going to be bored. It's like, oh, really? Really? You're still trying it, you thick little idiots? Because they are thick. They can only see up to a 3D level. They don't understand they're playing checkers on a chessboard. They're playing checkers on a chessboard with a divine being here. That's what I'm getting. Show me more low vibrational games oh it's weird isn't it to think that we all share vessels and we've all been brainwashed to think that we're all humans let's all sit in a circle and hold hands no bitch it's spiritual warfare fuck you john lennon six of swords here wheel again get the fuck out of dodge okay get the fuck away from these people you want you are enough alone and mate 
is going to be such a beautiful homecoming for you. I don't know where you are. I don't know who. You, I'm feeling masculine energy, but that could just be your soldieristic energy, okay? Someone here is going to get everything you want because you've got a beautiful heart. This is a lot of heart coming out of here. These people don't have their heart chakra activated. They are fraudulent human beings. They use the general public for fuel. They use the fence sitters, the people who just think they're normal humans in the 3D world. They use those people, just like the Matrix. The regular people get used by the narcissists. Narcissists love like manipulating regular people who don't understand spirituality and don't understand spiritual warfare. And they'll always turn them against you or me. They'll always turn regular people against the divine ones and it's so easy for them to say oh they're crazy oh they didn't they weren't polite to me or whatever the fuck okay spirits had enough now you're heading home okay i've gone quite hard on this reading because i'm sick of them nine of swords in seven of swords in all over the place let them fucking crumble and don't fucking feel bad when they crumble because if that happens to them it's because they deserve it nothing happens to any human that they don't deserve it's magnetism. If you're truly connected and protected by God, what have you got to worry about? What have they got to worry about? I feel like you might have been speaking to people who do try and act spiritual or do try and act like they love God. There's nothing a narcissist loves more than talking about God and putting people off God by not. <laughs> they don't even have the right to even say that word. Well, they do because they've got free will. But, uh, you know, God laughs every time they mention his name, okay? But it's down to humans to discern who are the divine ones and who are the sick little cockroaches in the asylum, okay? Ugh, gross. Okay, let's pull some of these. Show me more about this reunion, I want to know. Six of Swords, you could be going overseas here. This is all about you preparing your energy, keeping your energy to yourself or keeping your frequency pure so that when you get a a whiff of this connection, of this big divine family coming in, that you're ready, okay? Four of Swords is often about preparation, preparing your grid, preparing your frequency for these beautiful timelines. You wanna be ready in terms of being happy, being high vibrational, being able to catch this ride, okay? Yeah, reject these people, Four of Cups, boring, over it, okay? Boring, over it, you're heading somewhere way better with the Sun card. And they know it. The sun, victory. You're finally going to be somewhere with normal people, with normal mindsets. People who don't run on fear. People who run on love. And no, it doesn't make them weak. It makes them powerful, divine soldiers, okay? It can't get better than this. Ten of, ten of, uh, ten of cups. Ten of pentacles. And I feel like this is something you've waited. You've held your ground. You've waited a long time for this. And someone's going to try and make you miss the boat. Someone wants you to miss the boat because you're distracted by them. They want to play on any potential codependencies in a human being. But I'm getting that you don't have that. So they're confused. They're like, huh? Why isn't this working? Because for an energy to work on us, it has to be a frequency match to something we are. And I feel like I'm speaking to someone you've already been initiated. You've already been through the trials. You've already upgraded yourself as much as you possibly can, which is why... This is your reward. This is something you would have planned out in a previous life. To re-meet up with your soul group. Reunion of the highest caliber coming in for you. Yeah, someone tried it and now everything that they tried to do to you, it's going to reverberate and bounce back on them. And I feel like they're crazy enough anyway. <laughs> so their own energy just might finish them off, you know. Okay, I'm getting meet meet, you know, like the roadrunner. Get the fuck out of Dodge, okay? Get the fuck out of these, yeah, traitors. The hanged man was originally a traitor who got hanged, okay? Hanged for being a dirty fucking traitor because people back in the day understood the price or the cost. If you let one traitor into your tribe, they could kill you off in the night, motherfucker. They could kill you in your fucking sleep. So you've got to let this traitor go. This is someone disgusting, heinous, someone who's never going to ascend. Someone who doesn't even have their heart chakra activated. They're the same as an NPC or a cardboard cutout. They're designed to trick you, to evoke emotion, to make you feel like you're being mean or whatever the fuck. This is someone disturbed. This is a disturbed, game-playing piece of shit. Okay? 
who's trying to stop you getting to this beautiful life. They want you to miss the fucking boat. Look at this. They want you to miss the boat. They want you to be so distracted with them that you don't get to where you're supposed to be. But I feel like I'm speaking to someone, you already know you're a star. Sometimes, you know, you might doubt yourself just because, you know, you've got a brain. You might think, is all this spiritual stuff real? Yeah, it's it's really real, guys. It's really real. Just keep your frequency high and be self-sufficient, okay? If someone's getting under your skin or annoying you, it's not because you're a bad person that you're getting annoyed, okay? Jesus wasn't nice to everyone. Jesus had to cast out demons, okay? Jesus was a fucking warrior. Jesus was like an Assassin's Creed level warrior that they tried to hypnotize everyone, that he was weak and that he was a virgin. No, he wasn't. He was married to a whore. Warriors, it's our time now to go fucking home, okay? Fuck these people. Fuck these people, okay? Traitors. If some someone said something to you that feels fucking weird, yeah. They're just little narcs, okay? And they know they're going to hell. They are hell on legs. They're already in hell. Their consciousness is set at the hell channel. So of course they're going to try and manipulate people like they're little prisoners. Because they are little prisoners. They're prisoners of the earth and they can't connect to all that is good through their own magnetic frequency. Because they're enemy characters who chose the role. Okay, it's like GTA and they're the NPC enemy characters. Trying to stop the conscious ones getting where they've got to go block these people they are absolute loonies loonies okay <clears throat> let me know in the comments how this resonates because uh this certainly was coming through me today disturbed fuckers beautiful fuckers okay these are beautiful people who uh, are waiting for you don't let some little asshole pull you down to their level okay because they're going to be trying it they're going to be trying to be as charming as possible make you feel like am i being mean am i being a you know what you know, am I being a see you next Tegan or what? No, you're not. You're being a divine warrior, just like all the best ones are. All the best ones are warriors, including Jesus. I'm going to leave it there, guys, okay? I hope this has helped.